It's not a t-shirt you can sell. It's not a crystal that I can sell it to you that is going to raise your vibrations and it's going to... This crystal, this pendant is going to protect you from evil eyes. That sounds great. I'll pay $300 for that. Oh, wear this pendant, and this pendant is, it comes from Abajania, it comes from Brazil, it comes from blah, blah, blah. Okay, I pay a thousand dollars for it. Why would you spend any money on being silent, on being quiet? Think about it. I want you to contemplate. Take the next one moment. We'll be silent and contemplate for it. What part of it is attractive? Where is the value in it? Who is crazy enough to come and market something which is free and it's readily accessible to everybody at any moment? Why would anyone to be crazy to do that? He's definitely not a businessman. Only a fool would do such a thing like that. You can't have any sense of business to do something like this. Less alone to make a living out of it. Take your time and do some research. Look into different teachings, browse through internet, and check things out. And you'll discover for yourself that barely, very little number of teachers would teach such a thing. because it's really not marketable. It has no mar marketability, any values, because it's free. You can do it at any moment, any time, anywhere, without making any kind of changes. All you have to do is simply be quiet. Yet, something that has zero value as far as marketing and 99% of the spiritual seekers in the world are after doing something, they, need, they want to do something, yet comes this teaching telling you, you do not to do anything. You do not need to do anything. You simply be quiet and be aware. And in that, you discover the truth of who you are. You will discover the presence which is within yourself, the presence which is surrounding you, you're breathing it, you're living in it, every moment of your life, 
silence and emptiness, pure space is the truth of who you are. Presence is the only thing which is, we can call it awareness, which is the only thing that there is. Emptiness, nothingness, is another word for it, is the only thing that there is. Silence is the only thing that there is. Different words pointing out. These are words pointing out to this. Now, I'm going to explain this a little bit deeper so you understand it better, okay? Can I speak non-stop without a moment of stopping, of breathing? Can I not breathe and just speak for two hours, not even take a breath? Because to breathe, I have to stop speaking. I can speak and breathe simultaneously. They don't work together. Even if you're going very fast, very quickly, and you're talking continuously, there's a moment that even in a split second, you have to catch your breath. No one can just talk continuously for two hours and not take a breath. It's impossible. You're welcome to try it. and see how long that lasts. But what happens in between, as I am speaking, there is gaps of silence in between my conversation with you. So the words are appearing into empty space because when I stop, What's there? Anybody? When I stop, there is nothing. It's empty in between. It's gaps of silence. It's gaps of emptiness. In between the chatter, every time I stop, the background like the background here, you look at the background behind me, it's black, correct? The reason you can see the white shirt is because it's got a background of black behind it. If everything was black, I was wearing black, I had painted my face black, I had painted my hair black, my chair I'm sitting on was black, then you wouldn't be able to to see me and distinguish me through the camera. The only reason you can see me visually is because there's a contrast. 